everyone, this is Chaitali Bag, Aviation and Defense University Chief of Bureau, reporting live from Thailand, Bangkok at Defense and Security 2022, a show which is happening after the COVID time. Yeah, uh, there it has it, it was cancelled quite a number of times, and finally it is happening here. And we are glad and honored to have with us Mr. Bodhisattva Mukherjee. He is additional director to Indian Chamber of Commerce, and we are fortunate that he's giving his uh, expensive time to us. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us on the chat room of AD. My so, pleasure. Sir, so we begin today with the question about ICC, the role of ICC in this Defense and Security 2022 Expo. Good morning. Uh, let me just uh, start with a little bit of a background about ICC. Uh, the Indian Chamber of Commerce, or as ICC as it is well known, we are a national body, a very, very old Chamber of Commerce, and with a unique feature that we are the only national chamber in the country today which is not headquartered out of Delhi. We are headquartered in Kolkata with about 10 branches all across the country. And we are present in all the important cities, but our major focus of activity has always been the Indo-Pacific region, owing to our headquarters base being in the eastern part of the country. And uh, being established in 1925 by the Birla Group, Mr. G.D. Birla used to be our founder, uh, we have worked over a period of time with almost all the ministries uh, at Delhi and uh, we also work very closely with state governments and corporates all across the country. Now, the way we work with the other ministries, I think we work very closely with the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of External Affairs, and so on and so forth. Now, what has happened is, uh, though this is a defense uh, program, of course, Ministry of Defense has supported and has helped ICC in garnering the India Pavilion, in getting uh, participation from Indian companies. But this is a program which is actually in association with the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. They have a scheme called the Market Access Initiative Scheme. And it is under that scheme that uh, ICC has been given the privilege to garner participation for defense companies all across the country to explore business opportunities in various countries and these kind of shows where you have uh, various countries though it is taking care in taking place in Bangkok but I think uh, this has a participation from most of the Southeast Asian countries including China Korea and also some of the West Asian countries like Oman and Saudi and all that now this is a this is a wonderful meeting place for professionals in this industry and discuss about opportunities. So ICC wants to kind of uh, participate and give the Indian companies that requisite platform. Great, so that was a very compact, nice piece of history about ICC and exactly what ICC has been doing for the Indian companies and the MSMEs. So, so was there, uh, I can see all the companies that are here uh, the Indian companies, they are under your umbrella, the right. ICC's umbrella. So right. was there a specific <coughs> criteria of selecting these uh, companies to come here and participate in the expo? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, what has happened is that uh, every country or every area has certain uh, unique features. You know, some, some of the shows you will find that uh, the focus is more on naval, some are focused on Air Force, some have a focus like Tri-Series is this particular show is a generic show which has focused on all the different uh, areas of defense. Now what we wanted to have here is some big names from the Indian defense industry, some medium and small companies and some even startups. So what we have done, the way we have companies like l and and DCM Shranam and Brahmos of the world which are known names uh, all across. We also have some technology-oriented companies like Zen Technologies, uh, Hind High Value System. So, and also we have some startup companies like Kusumgar is one, 
like run flat tires is one they are smaller companies but they need that exposure that uh, kind of uh, i would say platform where they could network so the conscious effort from a chamber point of view was not only to pamper the big boys but also to create that platform because space is limited given the kind of budgets that we get from the ministry mm -hmm. so we want to equally distribute it among the big players the medium players and even the smaller ones who need this kind of platform since you told me about the the merging that you are doing with the big companies the middle ones and the startups msmes now my next question comes to the big companies are already established they are being right. known internationally they have their partners internationally and thing right how icc is trying to help or build up the startups and msmes in the international market what are do you have any specific plan for that of course i mean certainly there is a specific plan see what happens is we have tried to identify the startups in various categories you know uh, it is there are some startups which are very good in defense some which are very good maybe in the it space some very good in the agro space so as a chamber since we have our wings well spread across sectors mm -hmm. and we try and identify platforms both domestic and international where we try and promote these startups depending on their areas of uh, interest their sectors of operation we try and take them along with us connect them to the relevant people we try and ensure that they get some uh, suppliers some distributors which they could appoint so some kind of focus b2b meetings can be organized so that they can talk about their product which is new which is interesting and i'm sure the the counterparts are sitting on the other side do find value and when they find value the marriage is made so that is what a chamber uh, business is all about so if i may ask somehow icc is trying under the atmanirbhar bharat uh, project that the msmes or the startups you try to find the companies from outside as well to merge with them does icc play a role in that as well oh well as you said the atmanirbhar bharat or uh, make in india project yeah. is where we would obviously try to encourage our domestic companies come to that level where they could uh, be self reliant where uh, they don't need to fall back on uh, intermediary imports or uh, you know foreign collaboration but the products that they actually develop or produce or manufacture uh, after catering to the domestic demand they could also have a kind of a value or market share in international markets that will be truly atmanirbhar bharat and spreading its wings across the world right sir so coming back to the show coming back right. to defense and security 2022 covid had really stuck the industry and as the business hub was low uh, mergers or um, joint ventures were getting down so how defense and security in today's the second day how has been the response here for the indian companies oh well uh, i would say that uh, we are all aware that uh, the kind of show we had we, we had participated in this show in 2019 and along with the indian uh, defense minister coming here Uh, it coincided with ADMM, which is the Asian Defence Minister's meeting, and we had a wonderful show uh, conference alongside. But this year, I think post-COVID, there has been challenges not only in India but all across the globe, mm -hmm. and as a result of which, I think uh, there is some amount of uh, truncated participation uh, from uh, various uh, nations. Mm -hmm. uh, you know in terms of the total space that they have occupied but uh, what is very nice or what really makes me feel very happy and as i was talking to the indian companies also yesterday and they are very happy because after two two and a half years of only meeting everybody on screen this is an opportunity where they can meet yes. in person discuss and it gives them that confidence that the world is coming back to normal and the business can again take the front seat so i think uh, given that i think yesterday's uh,
deliberations, uh, especially with the VIP guests, uh, various country delegations, and also corporate uh, discussions, I think uh, has taken off well. And we still have uh, two and a half days to go. And I'm sure the companies, as on date, they're very happy that they could come, they could participate, and they can interact. I'm sure by the day uh, we reach the end, yeah. they will Still have something go. much more to take back with them. So my last question. Now yesterday, yeah. uh, the High Commissioner of Ambassador. India in Thailand, um, of India in, Tha uh, in Thailand, she was here. And uh, she spent quite a considerable amount of time going around all the uh, really? industry going around all the stalls and actually uh, trying to understand what they're displaying how it is working and when she had a discussion with all the company counterparts here may I know what kind of discussion and what help she proposed to this industry out participating here no I think uh, it was our privilege to have her here and uh, we were in touch with uh, ma'am and her team uh, since the time we planned to have put up an India Pavilion here. And right from the word go, I think we are getting a lot of support from the Indian Embassy in Thailand in terms of uh, getting the right kind of meetings. There were a couple of meetings which were planned yesterday with the Indian companies, some more being planned during over the next few days. Uh, what we discussed primarily with uh, the Indian Ambassador uh, yesterday, especially the companies. I think uh, defense is one sector where uh, you know some amount of government intervention is required in order to strike big deals, uh, in order to connect with the right kind of people in the uh, government uh, in Thailand. Uh, you know, and I think uh, what BAM really took note of is uh, the kind of products, the kind of technology. Uh, the kind of equipments that uh, India has uh, is capable of and I think uh, the standards are at par with the rest of the world which was very very encouraging for uh, the Indian ambassador and I think uh, what she mentioned was to extend all the necessary support on behalf of the Indian mission here to companies uh, who would like to venture out in Thailand and in neighboring areas in terms of selling their products, in terms of appointing distributors, in terms of some kind of technology transfers. So all the various areas, I think uh, she has promised to uh, give that helping hand, which is very, very much important and a big boost for the Indian companies exploring foreign soil. So overall, I should say it was a very fruitful experience absolutely. for you as well as the industry participating, the Indian industry participating. Absolutely, absolutely. That's great, sir. Thank right. you so much for your time today. No, and we had a you. very good interaction with you, getting you. to know, and the world will know how the Indian industry is now, not now, it's been for quite a considerable number of time, uh, amount of time that we are trying to venture out internationally, participate everywhere. Right. And it has been a good experience for all of us. Right. Thank you so and much. ICC for will also be there at DEF Expo. It's not it's only great. the international exhibitions. We will be very much a part of DEF Expo. We, would, we are urging all the international uh, participants to come over to our country and also experience what we have to offer. Definitely, I'm sure they will be glad. They exactly. definitely will be coming. India is a very good market and Atiti Devo power for us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank sir. You. Thanks for your time. Take care.